Hello everyone. It's been a long time, hasn't it? I wasn't gonna make this video, but I was like, I've already seen it before everyone else, so I might as well take this opportunity to give my review of it. So, yes. This will be my review for the new movie, Dune. So, starting off, I will say I don't think I could have watched this movie as a child. I think if I saw this movie, if I was like nine, maybe even eight, ten years younger, you know, I would feel bored. I really would. But that being said, now that I've seen this movie, you know, being an old man and all, it was... It was really good and it was really impressive. Like, there are a lot of scenes where people are talking. They're doing a lot of talking. And again, if I was younger, I would probably be really bored. But I was really engaged with the story. I was really hooked with it. And the cinematography is like, the director feels like he's flexing constantly in the movie. He's like, look at this shot and look at this shot. But look at this. That's what it feels like. I feel like he's flexing his art. But it, it's great. It's great. The movie is, is really, really good. The characters, while some of them can be very melodramatic, they're very well acted. They're very, very well acted. Especially the mom. Rebecca Ferguson? Rebecca Ferguson? Is that her name? Yeah, she's, she's the best actor in this movie. To me. To me. Like... Just seeing how everyone's portrayals are laid out and stuff, she gives like one performance before she's about to enter the room. Like she's like having like a, a slight nervous breakdown, but then she calms herself. Like that was that was that was great acting from her part. Timothy Timothy Chalamar Chalamet the God Timothy he he's good. I really want him to be Harry Osborne. I don't know why, but this movie made me want that and. uh Zendaya was good. She was good. She was good. Everyone was good. The only thing I will say, I know this doesn't make sense because I haven't seen the book. I have not seen the book. I have not seen the original movie. I wanted to go into this as blind as possible. So it's probably not even in the original source material. But I really wanted to see Batista and Jason Momoa fight. Now, I know I could see this happen in like their show called C, but I really, really wanted to see that in the movie. That's probably a spoiler to say, but it's better that I tell you so you don't get your hopes up like I did. Um, the music, the music is like really, really good. Like it's, it's not memorable. Like it's, it's made by Hans Zimmer. It's not memorable, but it's like, it gives you an experience. It makes you feel things, you know? Um, but yeah, it's not like a, a tune you can sing in your head or anything like that. But it's like the music kind of transports you in like another dimension. It makes you feel things. Um, there is, I feel like this should have been rated R, to be honest. And I'm not saying like how, you know, Venom Let There Be Carnage definitely should have been rated R. Like that, because it was Carnage or anything like that. I'm saying like... It would have, I feel like this would have helped this movie a bit more because although the deaths, they're good. Like, it's even though it's like a PG-13, like the deaths feel like deaths. They feel like legit deaths. Because like sometimes in PG-13 movies, it's insinuated, but then they do a great job here. Like this, this didn't need to be R, but I feel like if it was R, it would have helped it a lot. It would have helped it a whole lot. But it was still great. It's it's great either way. But for me, I wanted. I think it would have been better if it was R. But that's that's like a nitpick. That's like a stupid ass nitpick. But um, what else? What else? Uh, yeah. This this was this was like a, a good, enjoyable book. Like it was just something like like I could consume easily. But it was something that to be that was to be taken seriously. And there's just like these long periods where, you know, like when you watch a movie and there's like a, a dull, a dull moment, like a slow, a slow burn moment. And those, those are the type of moments where you have to like just 
you know, check out for a bit, collect yourself, maybe look on your phone. The slow moments here are also important. Like, they do a great job to have a slow burn, but make you pay attention to that slow burn. Because I didn't, I didn't feel bored at all. And I, I feel the length. I felt the length of the movie. Don't get me wrong. But I did not feel bored during those slow burn moments. And there's some elements of horror here. Um, it's, it's, it's a good movie. And I hope that this movie does well so a sequel could come out. Because it's not like something I would beat the door down for. Like, I need Dune 2. But I am looking forward to it. It's like a very well-paced, enjoyable, biblical, sci-fi epic on screen. So, yeah, I definitely give this a good stamp of approval. If you're not doing anything, go see Dune. Go see Dune. You'll have a good time. Bring someone with you, in fact. It's, cause I, I, watch, I watched it with a couple of friends of mine, and it was, it was a good experience. Because we, we usually kind of talk in movies. But when we saw this, we, we shut up. We didn't say anything to each other. We just looked at it. And then we talked about it a whole bunch after. So if you can see it with some people, go right ahead. Go do that. Uh, yeah. And that's pretty much it. Those are my thoughts on Dune. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it when you see it. And uh, that's it. Thank you for watching.